Um, thank you so much. Let me go to uh, Ron Paul now. He's the uh, congressman from uh, Texas. Congressman, at the you know I, I draw this spider web up here, and I see it, and and I think to myself, at the center of this really is the Fed. They are they're in this thing all the way around, and yet you want to talk about powerful people. You've got a majority of congressmen that are willing to say, we need to open up the books of the Fed. You can't even get this thing brought to the floor now. Why is that? Well, so far we haven't been able to. We have 273, which includes almost 90 Democrats, so the large majority of the congressmen want it. They don't want it because they really understand the issue and, uh, and, and they're not motivated by philosophy as much as the fact that this has struck a chord with the American people and the American people are demanding uh, more uh, transparency. So I think this is very good. Now, I think uh, we had the first demonstration last week when Jim DeMint tried to bring it up in the Senate, even though he was doing exactly what they had done four times on that same bill, they ruled him out of order and said, well, you're not following the rules. That means the information is coming up from above and on down. That means from the administration and leadership, both Republicans so, and Democrats. So, who so, is, they, so who's they blocking it? Can you name names? Who's blocking it? Well, I don't know the individual, but I, I would know I would know one thing. If Obama wanted change and change of the system, at least exposure, uh, he could do something. But, you know, he got nearly a million dollars from Goldman Sachs. So so we don't expect anything from the administration, the same people. You know, with this to me is a perfect example of my argument that I've made, and I think you gen generally agree with it. There's not a whole lot of difference between the two parties. No. You know, they're owned by the same people. You take this Goldman Sachs issue. What, wouldn't it be revealed? Feeling if we were able to get the transcripts and all the agreements and discussion that all Treasury and all Federal Reserve officials have had with Goldman Sachs. I mean, that would be a revelation. But boy, they're hysterical when they think we're coming down close to saying that we might be able to open up the books. I finally got some information the other day that during uh, another crisis in, in Central America, the banks were in trouble. And our Fed went to the IMF and told the IMF to pay the interest to the banks. I mean, that's how corrupt it is. And the whole thing is, is as this system continues to falter, they're not going to give up. They're going to move all these shenanigans over to the IMF. They're going to have a world organization. So the powerful elite then will have a world currency. That's what they're being uh, plan, planning for right now. So uh, we, we as a people really have to wake up. My effort is exposing the Fed, opening up the books. The American people want it, and we have both Republicans and Democrats demanding it. But you made the right point. How are we going and get the leadership to do what the American people are demanding. How much time do we have, Ron? How much time okay. do we have to, to wake up? Um, that, that is hard to say. Timing is really tough in Austrian economics. We know what the inevitable outcome will be. But I, I would guess it's just a few more years. I would think the handwriting will be clearly on the wall before Obama finishes his first okay. term, which means the next shoe is the crisis in the dollar, the value of the dollar, not just the financial system. Okay. We will see high, high inflation rates soon. Okay. Uh, Congressman Ron Paul, thank you very much, sir. And speaking of the Fed, check this out. There's a videotape of Florida Congressman Alan Grayson grilling the Federal Reserve Inspector General. This is the one that is tracking trillions of dollars of your taxpayer money. This video is going to make blood shoot right out of your eyes. Watch this. I'm asking you if your agency has, in fact, according to Bloomberg, extended $9 trillion in credit, which, by the way, works out to $30,000 for every single man, woman, and child in this country. I'd like to know... If you're not responsible for investigating that, who is? We actually, we have responsibility for the Federal Reserve's programs and operations, audits, to conduct audits and investigations in that area. Um, in terms of who's responsible for investigating, would you mind repeating the question one more time? What have you done? to investigate the off-balance sheet transactions conducted by the Federal Reserve, which, according to Bloomberg, now total $9 trillion in the last eight months. I'll have to look specifically at that Bloomberg article. I, I'm not um, – I, I don't know if I have actually seen that particular one. So are you telling me that nobody at the Federal Reserve is keeping track on a regular basis of the losses that it incurs on what is now 
a two trillion dollar portfolio? I don't know if you're, you're telling me that there you're mentioning that there's losses. I'm just saying that we're not until we actually look at the program and have the information. We are not in a position to say whether there are losses or to respond in any other way to that. Coming up. If